New Year's Eve celebrations. New Year's Eve celebrations. Very interesting time of the year. Like I said before, in London, we had a really spectacular um, celebration at the London Eye. Um, you know, River Thames, Tings, fireworks going up all over the place. It was fucking crazy. Where I live in London, there was a re really good display as well. Guys in the hood on the street doing it. People are the people at the back somewhere. It, it looked amazing in the sky to see all of it L light up with all the fireworks and shit. Fucking cool. But there were some psychos. There were some psychos around the world who actually went to like big events to go and see the fireworks and shit and the special displays and stuff. And I was surprised at the amount of people that do that sort of stuff. I was really generally surprised because of how crazy the crowds can get. But you know how people are when it comes to crowds. One of them was a New York one um, in Times Square. I've never really understood the, why that is a thing with a ball and it kind of drops down and shit. And, you know, I've been to New York once in my life. I went to Times Square, of course, you know, to check it out. And it was already too much for me. And I live in London. It's really, it's kind of like the same sort of, you know, busyness. But even I couldn't handle that stuff. So I've never understood why people will voluntarily go to Times Square to go and watch the New Year's Eve fireworks shit. It doesn't make any sense to me. Being there to shop and stuff, fair enough. But like going out of your way to go there is wild. Cool. Anyways, there was another firework thing happening, this time in Paris. And legitimately, it looked like hell. But it was so full and rammed, it's making me think maybe we're the weirdo normie ones here, right? There's this massive, I forgot what the fucking thing is called in Paris, the, the gate. I forgot what the fucking name of it is. Um, please forgive me. But everybody's out there basically watching the fireworks. The view looks fucking amazing. But the only thing you can see in this picture are the sea of smartphones on fucking selfie sticks you know, in hands, whatever, just a sea of smartphones all trying to capture the exact same thing instead of experiencing and seeing the thing with your own eyes when you're actually there. How fucking sad is that? That we're all more worried, looking at that picture, what that shows is that we're all way more worried about showing our friends and people that we don't know online that we went to that thing as opposed to enjoying that thing because don't get me wrong i would not be seen dead at a celebration like this is just too many people for me but isn't it sad that you're there not because you want to be there you're there because you want people to know you were there and what's the best way to sit to, to show it that, yeah i'm gonna record it I'm going to record it and I'm going to share it on my feed so everyone can see that I was there, but I don't really remember it. I don't really, you know, it, there's no sense of being there and enjoying it. It's just, just, I want to capture it for other people. That to me is just the antithesis of like how sad modern day culture is nowadays and how we consume things, especially in real life, because make no mistake, this design of the whole thing, everything about it, I'm pretty sure whoever put it together had in mind phones. They had in mind people holding up their phones in portrait mode. They had in mind it happening at at night, at night, and the lights and stuff. It was all designed for that square 10, 1080 by 1080 fucking pixel image. That's a sad thing. It wasn't actually designed to actually bring about the to elicit the most amount of emotion and feeling and fucking whatever in person. It was actually designed solely for the benefit of how it's going to look on your fucking smartphone. That's the actual really scary thing about it. They designed these type of things for your smartphone, but it's this, but it's obviously done in in real life, IRO in a physical location. You go there because you want to be there. But then you're experiencing it through your fucking phone. It's absolutely nutty. And if anything, it makes me appreciate way more 
the events I go to, like, you know, the Berlin clubs I go to and stuff, where essentially they very much dissuade people from using phones, you know, their cameras on the dance floor. Again, it can be very pretentious. It can be very self-absorbed. It can be very kind of, um, you know, it can be very almost intrusive. But you understand when you're there. Any club you go to, especially in London now, there's a few hot box, big up my guys over there. They're fucking fantastic. They do it as well, covering your phone camera. Fold in London, cover your phone camera, and a few others as well. And it can be a little bit annoying. It can be a bit pretentious. I get it. But once you experience a party like that, it's very difficult to go back to a regular place where everybody's flashing the camera at the DJ, recording selfies in front of the DJ booth, taking pictures of their friend falling over. It's a very different experience because the ability to just take put a picture, and again, it's not you can't use your phone. They just put a sticker over it. It just makes you be present. You're just present in the moment because that on paper is a beautiful place, right? It's a beautiful 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 location you're in paris new year's eve in the center of paris all the lights are, look all the trees are lit up right yeah all the trees are lit up all the fucking trees are lit up fireworks projections music good vibes baguettes croissants we oui, we oui. menor pardon all that good shit right and here you are experiencing it all through your fucking screen. How sad is that? How sad is that? But hey, what can you do? What can you do?